Hello everybody, in this screencast we're gonna look at cre uh, creating a view pager. A view pager also integrates very well with fragments. So let's see. So basically I would like to integrate the view pager in the activity and then when you swipe, uh, uh, it's a, sw a slider. So basically you swipe, it shows the next fragment, you swipe again, it shows the next fragment and so on. <clears throat> okay, so we are going to use the library called view pager 2, right? Which is a library that I probably have to include in my project. So now let's go to the activity, to the uh, layout. And in here, I'm going to search for view pager, and it shows me view pager two, right? Okay, so when I double click on view pager two, notice what's or I drag and drop view pager two, it tells me that this is recent in Android Studio. It tells me that this is this library is not included in your in your project. Do you want to include it? I say yes, include it. So now it did include it, right? <clears throat> now let's notice something. If we go back to the project. If you go back to uh, the module, which is the app module here, you will see that these are the dependencies that you have in your project. And it, they just go to add this new dependency, which is view pager two to your Gradle file. Okay, we'll look at this in more detail when we uh, move forward in the course. All right, so basically <clears throat> this is your uh, activity. Here it is. And you have these uh, this view pager, right? Let's have a look at the code just to remove the padding. I think we had a padding in the past. Here it is go back to the design and then basically we have our view pager let's look at uh, the attributes and basically i want to add all these i want to add all these uh, uh all these constraints here we are and add these constraints and basically i don't want to have any I want it to be all zeros okay and then basically i don't want it to be fixed width i'll just make it uh match so basically zero dp to just to say match parent so here it is so basically the view pager is going to occupy the whole screen let's call it pager for example <coughs> okay so we have the view pager already on the screen very nice let's go back to the activity right now in the activity i need to bring in so if you look here we already added the view pager so i'm following the instructions that google provides this is a very new library so Anyhow, so basically we already added the view pager, right? And it matches parent and so on because we already uh, extended it to, to take the whole screen, right? Now their example uses a fragment to host the view pager. I'm gonna host it inside the activity. Okay, so I need an instance of it. So I'd say view pager, view pager and two, which is library type two, and I'll call it view pager. Okay, so that's my view pager, right? Now I need to retrieve that view pager. I'll say view pager uh, equals find view by ID, r dot id dot pager pager the one we just added right that's the view pager right here it is we called it pager right or if you want to call it view pager let's do that here is view pager yes i'll go back to the activity and it has a view pager perfect <clears throat> okay so now the view pager needs something called an uh, an adapter and that adapter is the one that's going to serve the fragments for the view pager to show so all the view pager has to say to the adapter hey adapter give me the view, the the fragment to display that is at location uh, at position one or position two or position three and the, uh, the adapter will figure out what fragment and it should return a fragment that's going to be displayed as you swipe <clears throat> okay so the fragment if you look here is is it's called the the fragment state adapter Okay, so basically what we need to do is to create a class that implements our adapter. So public class, let's call it uh, view pager adapter, right? Extends and it extends the fragment state adapter. So basically let's see fragment state adapter. Mm -hmm. and I click enter. Now it's not happy because usually these, when you extend something, there is specifically methods that you have to implement and so on. Okay, so we are here, we are here and it's not happy. So now, even if you try to run it, it's not going to work because it's stuck here, right? Okay. Public class extends this. Now it does not uh, override an abstract. So you need to implement some methods. So I need this. Okay, implement the methods. Here it is. And it tells me what methods I need to implement. I click on OK. And then these are the methods that need to be implemented. Now if you click on it again, there is probably a constructor that needs to be implemented. And let's see. So this one here it is okay let me do it again i think if i the autocomplete is not working it just went crazy so let's do it again public class uh view pager adapter that's the name of my adapter extends and i'll say fragment fragment state adapter here it is 
and I go like this now when I hover over it should give me a bulb here and I could just go say uh, uh, code um, override methods and basically I really don't know which ones I have override so I have to go here and in the, uh, the IDE should give me some help so the context actions here it is implement methods here they are the same story here show contact methods there is a constructor that's missing here we are and I'm picking gonna pick the constructor that needs an activity right here it is. okay cool all right so now there are no errors and we are extending this class that's okay now when you create see here th there are two methods it, one method is to tell it how many how many views do you need in that in that uh, in that pager view let's say we have 10 views right now here you're creating a fragment here you are creating a fragment so it gives you the position and you need to pass on that position that represents that fragment so let's say <coughs> we'll, we'll revisit our uh, custom fragment i just simplified it it has nothing in it except a label and the color okay so let's have for example a uh, custom fragment let's say for example i will return let's say custom custom fragment dot instance and basically the string will be i'll call it fragment and the position will be the position uh, say plus one right comma and then the color let's say color <coughs> color dot maybe make them for example green okay so i'll make all of them as green right so basically what's going to happen here is that you will have 10 fragments you know meaning that you can swipe 10 times and each time you swipe it's going to serve a fragment okay so basically we just created the class here but we need to connect things so let's copy this class name here it is i'll call it my adapter or we call it view pager adapter here it is the view pager adapter and then I, all I have to do is tell the view pager dot set adapter, and I give it the the adapter name that I created, which is uh, I didn't create an adapter yet. So basically, I need to instantiate this adapter. So here is the adapter equals new view pager adapter, and you need to pass it the activity, which is this, right? And then basically, you go back to the view pager and you say set adapter the view pager adapter. So I set it. So now I told the adapter, I told the view pager about the presence of that adapter and the view pager will come in and say, hey, serve me the first screen. Basically, this means the position zero and then position zero, meaning that we're going to create a custom fragment and it's going to be green. So now <coughs> if we go to the application here, let's run it <coughs> and see what happens. So we scroll, uh, I ran it, here it is. And you can see that it still has this enable, disable. Let's remove this, so it just removes the confusion remove that switch we don't need it okay let's run it again here it is so basically when you run it you see fragment one here let's make it a little bit bigger let's say text size and I'm going to make it let's say 30 dp so that you 30 sp so you could see it let's run it <coughs> all right here is fragment one and then as I swipe it goes to fragment two I swipe goes to fragment three and you can see it goes to fragment four five six seven and so on so basically i could uh you see that right now we are showing different fragments right so and the fra the what do you call it the uh the view page is taking care of this basically all, all what's going on is that when you are swiping it's going to the adapter and asking the adapter to serve it a fragment at a different position we can also maybe introduce colors if you want so let's say we have three colors let's say uh, var no no so let's say it's an array of integer an integer array colors equal this and basically i'm going to say color dot red color dot uh, green green right and then color dot say blue All right, so basically what I'm going to do is that whenever you are uh, uh, s serving these uh, fragments, I'm just, just going to pick one of the colors from the array. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, integer color equals um, colors of position and modulo to make sure that it's between modulo what colors dot length. So basically I'm just going to make sure that the color the position is from zero to the length of it and then that becomes my color and that's what i'm going to pass here right so now when we run it you'll see that the first one is going to be 
red and then it's going to be green and then a blue and then red green blue and so on so now we go to the next screen green blue red green blue and you could see that it will continue to go until you reach fragment number 10 and then after each fragment 10 you reach the end why because you told it that the number of counts is 10 right so that's how you create a view picture now <clears throat> also this uh, i will post this in the in the video if you scroll down a little bit <clears throat> You know the example is with regard to a fragment i didn't use a fragment to host the 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 view pager and then they tell you about okay a table layout okay so the tab layout is a tab layout at the top here and it scrolls very nice so now we need to add a tab layout to our layout let's do that so i'll go back to my uh, screen here and i'm going to add tab layout so basically before i do that let me do this and remove this constraint so that this goes all the way down because it's going to be under the tab layout tab layout here it is tab layout I drag it drop it and again it needs the material design library i click ok it did add the material design library here we are so that's the tab layout let's move it up a little bit here okay this is our tab layout it comes with these tab items i don't need these tab items so let's go and remove them so basically here are all the tab items i don't need all of these tab items here it is and I just removed them it has no tab items okay go back again here is my tab layout let's anchor to the top right and then it's not happy because it has a predefined width I'm not gonna set its predefined width let's say we take it to here to here and from here to here and uh, then I don't want to set its width so we'll go like this and then wrap content in here okay here we are and then what I'm going to do is that the view pager, I want it to go all the way up to the tab layout. There it is. Perfect. So now it seems that this tab layout is not happy for some reason. The tab layout is up here. And then under it is the view pager. Let's have a look at the code. Okay, so we have the tab layout. The width is uh, 0. I'll make it, uh, the width is uh, match, match parent. Match parent. And then the height is wrap content <coughs> okay cool so now let's go back to the layout let's see if this is going to work it doesn't seem that it is uh, so here it is and it's tied up here and what about do this this the width match parent the height is wrap content okay we're good so let's see so then we have the tab layout now it's called tab layout here perfect okay good so now what I'm going to do is I'm going back to the code and let's see how we can set up the tab layout. So again, uh, if we scroll down here, it seems that it's very simple. All you have to do is get the tab layout, tab layout, uh, tab, tab. Okay, it's not, uh, it's not working. It's pretty interesting. It can't find it. Yeah, here it is. Here's tab layout, the tab layout. No, I don't want a table layout, it's tab layout. So maybe that's why it's not working. Let's have a look. Again, it's tab layout. Let's go to the code and it's called what? Tab layout. We're good. So yeah, it should work. So we go back to your uh, activity and I'm going to use tab layout. Tab layout. Here it is. And it's not happy. I'll just do option enter. Here it is. My tab layout. Here it is. Okay. Perfect. So I have an instance of the tab layout here. I can get it through tab layout equals find view by id r dot id dot tab layout so i got the tab layout right and then basically now i just need to create something called the tab layout mediator and then that's the one that's going to pump these labels so basically you need to pump these labels you give me a position i give you what the label is all right so what i'm going to do is new tab uh, tab layout mediator tab layout layout mediator here the mediator tab layout mediator it can't find it so basically there's a problem in the syncing so let's go back to the project and we say build a clean project and we click the build again okay basically it's going to build let's look at the gradle thing yes it did add the material design okay we go back again here all right, so now let's see if it's going to work. Mm, tab layout mediator. Okay, let's do this. New. It should work, by the way. So tab layout. Here it is. Tab layout mediator. Here it is. 
and it needs the tab layout which is I have an instance of it and it then it needs the view pager I have it and then a new it needs something else so basically if you hover over and you right click show the context and it ne it needs that variable so, so it's not this one so basically we need to create a new tab layout so now if I if I comment this out I'll show you so when you say new tab layout mediator tab layout mediator okay and you hover over here right and you click here uh, basically it should give you it should give you the list of um, the list of variables so one of very one of the variables is the uh, is the tab layout okay here's the tab layout view pager and then there is uh, a method that we then there is an uh, an anonymous class that we have to implement and that anonymous class uh, shows up the uh, enables us to implement it so basically that anonymous class is called tab mediator dot configuration manager so basically here it is tab mediator tab layout mediator dot configuration strategy so basically we need to implement this this okay we need to implement this so we say new here it is and strategy configuration strategy here it is and basically that should implement this one so it's not implementing it for me and it's pretty weird so now I go here implement the methods click OK and here we go so it did implement it for me so basically all what I did let me do this again just to show you I just created a new tab layout tab layout mediator okay and I added the tab layout the view pager and I said new tab layout configuration manager strategy this one here it is configuration strategy and you could see that it has only one method in it that method is configure the tab and you are given the tab that you want to configure and the position so basically you could say tab dot set text I could say for example fragment right and then plus that's the text that's going to appear let's say this and then we'd say position plus one right okay so you could do something like this and then all you have to do is dot attach so after you do that you say dot attach and that attaches this uh, the table the tab layout to the view pager okay so let's see what this looks like now here we go you could see that the fragments are at the top but do they don't look so neat why it's because of the how the the tab layout is set up so basically what we could do is you could tell the view pager and what we need to set is we need to set how it is uh, does it allow scrolling or no and to do that we just have to tell it that um, uh, we need to set its tab mode so basically the tab the not the view pager we have to do this in the the, the tab layout so here is our tab layout something called the tab mode tab layout dot set tab mode and we need the scrollable and we need it to be scrollable as I un I remember it's mode scrollable so yeah so that's the name of it so it's M O D E scrollable so basically we need just to make it scrollable now you see they are not scrolling at the top here but if we make the mode scrollable they're gonna be scrollable right so we run it again and here they are this is the first fragment the second fragment third fragment fourth fragment fifth fragment six seven eight nine ten right and also you can you can swipe right so you could see that this is the integration of the view pager and the 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 the, uh, the tab layout i know it's a little bit involved but it's very simple idea the idea introduced here is something called the, the adapter right and that adapter all you have to do is connect the adapter to the view pager and then the view pager is going to ask the adapter hey give me a fragment and it gives you a fragment at a specific position and it also the adapter controls the number of fragments that are going to be in the a number of screens or number of fragments that are going to be pumped out all right please uh, enjoy using this uh, view pager and tab layout and please let me know if you have any questions thank you